<laughs> Hi guys, Hello we're again. back again. Um, this is quite possibly the last video of us two together this year, isn't it? It, it just, will be, yeah. Because yeah, we're not going to see each other until nope. New Year. No. Nope. But, you know, it's a doozy. Yes, because... but there's plenty of time next year, isn't there? There is. Yes, because we're talking about Paul Dark. Mr. Series Paul Dark. Um, or, aka, how many times can you fuck up and people will forgive you? <laughs> because... That should have been the tagline today, shouldn't it? Let's just yeah. put that under the. <laughs> right. So, um, we did everybody video. count. Can you count on your fingers how many times this man messes up? Because he does. Uh, he does. He messes up quite, um, He's... quite incredibly. It's like the series was like an endurance test. Like, how much can you hold on to your love for this idiot? <laughs> True. But <laughs> we did a video at the very beginning of the series, in a way, because then. We did. It was I think August or September. It it was it was I think the second episode was just airing that mm. day or something. Or it, was, it was something. It was something like that because we yes I think it was that you were going home that day and yeah. the second episode was that evening or something. something no, like it was that. it was it was a Friday that I came because I usually come on Friday. Oh yes, yeah, so yes, we shot it earlier, didn't we? In, yeah, in your visit. Sorry. Yeah. But it was it was the week that the second episode yeah. was gonna it was gonna air. Yeah. Uh, so we just focused on the first episode, and even though you had been over a couple of times while it was still airing, mm -hmm. we wanted to wait until the series yeah. was over yeah. to talk about it. Um, and, now it's over. To, and now it's over, and we've finally been able to get together. And of course, it's now out on DVD, mm -hmm. um, which I still don't own yet because they want eighteen pounds for it. Yes, I'm but not wait, paying wait, eighteen pounds. Yes, but wait it. until the January sales. And, yes, you I know, know it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, we want to talk about series two, particular of Paul Duck. Um, I'll put a link to our video of episode one because obviously yeah. that we talk very much in depth about that particular episode. No, I think but here we go. We're going to talk about the series entirety. Um, just as we say with our other videos, if you don't want to be spoiled, turn this video off. Although to be honest, had your has, warning, it they has, has aired internationally, everywhere. and yeah. so you know. Well, it's you know some people may have not watched it. Yet. No, that's watched true. It. So if you if you don't want to be spoiled, turn this video off. Okay, so let's begin. Now, should we start at? Um, let's put it this way: Ross's mess up number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to to trillion. <laughs> His lack of self awareness is literally horrific. Like I've now, never can ever. We, can we actually? Can we change the tagline to say Ross's big fuck ups and how Demelza deals with them? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on! You have to admit it. He right royally screws everything up multiple I... times, and Demelza is the one who has to deal with it, not just yeah. from him. But from everyone around her, every level of society, and she still stands there and she goes, bring it. I, I think she's, you know, she's... I was talking to some of my friends who also love Paul Dark, and in, I realised... In, in America, yeah, our friends over there. Yeah. And I realised that there is a pattern to his fuck-ups. Basically, <laughs> something happens, yeah. puts him in a horrendous mood, and then he makes a mistake or a decision that has consequences for the rest of his life. And you can see it from the very beginning. Absolutely. You and can I've see read that, that, decision, that decision when he gets angry, it's Melza for wearing the dress. Yes. And then he makes the decision to go... To kiss her. To kiss her. To and sleep with her. Let, to marry her. To marry have babies with her. Exactly. It's kind of... It and then... It goes all the way through. Has the baby... The baby dies. There's the shipwreck. There's the trial. da 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 da, -da. He yeah. keeps... Doing it, he yeah. he he's a man who acts out of emotion instead of sense. Yeah, and he needs his emotions diluting by sense. And thank Christ, his wife <laughs> has some because he hasn't. Yes, that's really it's true. true. <laughs> really, really true. There's nothing I'm saying that's not true. No, no. Um, I mean, should we look at individual characters? Yeah, or? do you want to do it like that? Okay, again? yeah, let's yeah, do that, that again. Quite well. Okay. Shall we? Shall we do Ross first, or should we tackle a, a um, in a sense, a more, even though they're not minor, but in the comparison, a more minor character situation first? I tell you what, let's do the minor characters first. Okay, can we talk? Characters. Can we talk about Dwight Ennis, please? Love Dwight Ennis. 
Dr. Ennis. Dr. Ennis yeah, Dr. is lovely. Right, so at the beginning of the series, he is um, obviously doctor to the area. Mm-hmm. Um, he's gone through the first series scandal of the... Uh, a woman who he had a fling with who then was murdered by her husband and having to yeah. deal with that in, yeah. the, in the society. Although Everyone I seems to have... Uh, kind of forgotten about that, really. <laughs> yes, you know, kind of, yeah. It's kind of been brushed aside in the sense. But it, it, kind of, it kind of is like in the book in regards to that whilst it's happening, the scandal of, oh, she's just died and everything, people are a bit wary of him. But they don't, they don't, ignore him they still need his services Mm -hmm. so but he is still respected um Mm -hmm. amongst the people who need they need his help from so it's not like they're going oh he's you know behind his back oh he's the guy who you know caught up in that murder scandal sort of thing they're like oh it's dr ennis yeah yeah He's just a doctor, but, yeah. you know, it's, it, and he's, you know, he, it, people respect him and that. And he meets a character called Caroline Penmenon, who is staying with her uncle Ray. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's from London, uh, raised in London, such and so. Cornwall is a bit different to, for her, mm-hmm. but Cornwall she, she, yeah, she, yeah, she is one of the most amazing characters for saying what it is, how, you know. Tell, tell, she she had the balls to say to George's face what a snake he was. She's, she calls a spade a spade. Yeah, in, in front in front of everyone in a very kind of regal esque manner at a party, and mm-hmm. she doesn't care. She's just like, don't crap, don't give a crap. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's very um, yeah, she's a very modern character. But what's so lovely about her chemistry with Dwight is that so is he. Yes, and they have this push pull push pull between them where they eat they flirt outrageously together mm-hmm. once dwight has gotten over his his yeah. bit of a brush pride after she made him attend her dog um, <laughs> when they first met yeah. yeah but she is she her chemistry with him is so lovely the two the two actors yeah are- very, very, and I love how good together. You can tell they've got a kind of friendship. Yeah, they've got such a chemistry yeah. with each other. It's so natural. It it's is so easy. It is. It is. And yeah. obviously, um, towards the end of the series, you could tell Gabriella Wilde was really pregnant because yes. Caroline never stood up. She was oh. always filmed from the neck up. Or sometimes when you've got the occasional very short, long shot from there, you could see she had a distinct bump. She really did. Oh, uh, they she tried really to did. do as much layering as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These huge dresses where you wonder, how on earth was she able to stand up in those moments, yeah. let alone stand there you whilst heavily the pregnant? Rides, the horse ride oh over the beach was clearly a stunt rider. Yeah. I'm not being... I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying BBC are really messed up or minor, anything like Minor, minor things, but it was just obvious that Gabriella Wilde yeah. was pregnant. Yeah. yeah. It, especially um, later on in series. Yes, yeah. yeah. Very, but yeah. but she, she's a great addition to the cast. Oh, and, I love her. Yeah. And you know... You get from the from books. She and Ross become the best, best friends, friends yeah. and even that first they see each other in the village. She's in a she's in a horse and cart, and he's walking by, and they just catch eyes, and they just share this quick smile, and it's there. Yeah, yeah. You don't. Like her there's nothing. There's and nothing he, romantic no. or anything like that between no. them. It's just pure friendship and it's just instant. Yeah. And he... Um, I, it's kind of like... Because she can see people. She understands people. She going, I can see you and I like you. And he mm-hmm. can see her as well. Mm-hmm. And it's just bam. And he there. gets them together in the end. Of he does! Basically yeah. by telling them to stop being so stubborn, stop being so proud. And if <laughs> yeah. you love each other, we together. Yeah, and then he went... Hang on, oh, why am yeah. I not listening to my oh. own advice? Maybe I should go Maybe home and I should my go home <laughs> and say sorry for doing that really, really bad thing. Which we will talk about later. <laughs> <laughs> but once we've got another character to dealt with. Um, we've got, as we said, Ray Penn Yeah. He's, he, he is... He's not really in it much, though. He's is not. He? Re- he's not really in it much. And John Nestles, bless him, he he comes sometimes with the Cornish twang. He's a bit he over exaggerates some words. Little. He kind of goes a bit, you know. Um, but he has such a respect for Demelza, and uh, he really. He does, but no respect for Dwight. Unfortunately, no, not yet. No, not not yet. Not really yet. No. Um, 
but I love, yeah, I love his his respect for Demelza. Yeah. And especially with what's going on with um, Ross at the beginning of the series with the trial because mm-hmm. of the shipwreck and everything that happened at the end of the first series. Um, it, yeah, she turned up at his house, <laughs> supposedly, because she fell ill wandering. Those, but the reason why is that she needs to know about the judge yeah, and the she proceedings. Wants to know his name. And, you know, she turns up at Bodmin where um, the trial is going to be happening, even though Ross told her, you will not go. And she goes, oh, yes, of course, Ross, I won't go. Well, of course she's going to go. Yeah. You can't stop your wife from, t- not, yeah. you know, from turning up at your trial because she may never see you again, you, you know, if, uh, after the trial. <laughs> if that's just, that's it, just a, a mini, a mini blip. Yeah. A mini <laughs> catastrophic hot shit mess <laughs> that becomes no, 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 their no. marriage no, no, no. So anyway back to Rape and Menon and Demelza um, because she's got that little friendship yeah when she turns up and he goes this is Paul Dark you're here and he introduces her to people which yeah. leads to her finding out who the judge is and stuff like that so you could say that she was using Ray of which course was she too, was which, yeah. yeah but she never I don't think she ever expected him to turn out to not that I'm saying she expected him to you know turn open the door and him be evil or character or anything but didn't expect that he would turn out to be a family friend and mm-hmm. is someone who she could trust and you know that kind of thing going yeah. forward yeah um, he's turned out to be quite a quite a useful person to have around a useful person to have around for certain things yeah. but another a friend Mm. I don't know about that. But, but going forward, I've yeah. read the book. Of course, so you have. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. Anyway, the Ennises are good. The Ennis Ennises are doing good. They're brilliant. They're doing good. Um. Yeah. So Dwight and Caroline are now getting together. married. Are getting married. Um, oh, that's, but Ray doesn't know about it. No, but they've, but Ray, they've Ray consummated is, their marriage, haven't they? Yes, yeah, so they've consummated their marriage. They're well, not well, actually they're, they're married. Not married. Okay, pre-marriage. <laughs> yeah. Um. They um they're together. Ray doesn't know about it. He's fallen ill, so Caroline is back living with him. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so and Dwight went away to war because well he had signed up, he enlisted as a doctor because Caroline. He found out Caroline. They, they, they had they fell apart their relationship and everything um, out of events that he had to help Ross with something and it led mm-hmm. to a you know, being arrested and all this sort of kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> all that jazz. All that jazz. So it meant that she went off to London and then he heard that she was getting engaged. And, he, and it was the most... Yeah, well, she wasn't. We know that she wasn't. Yeah. But she, he heard it. And it led to this scene and it broke my heart where he's just stood there in the middle of a field mm-hmm. and, he ca- and he doesn't know what to do and he just cries. He and does, it was just yeah. like, oh, bless him. So what does he do? He goes, right. I'm going to go to the army, so, uh, Navy, who signs well, up. And it was just like... Well, frankly, Dwight is free to do he that. He is, he's free to do that. Um, Another person in, in it sense, is not. In a, and in a, hang on, yeah. And in a sense, he's kind of doing what Ross kind of did to get out of a situation. Yeah. Okay, in Ross's situation, he became a soldier because he needed to run away from the law because yeah. he was in trouble. Yeah. But yeah, he was like, I met... He technically, because that's how he met Dwight, because Dwight saved his life and, you know, patched up that scar that he's yeah. got in his face. Um, so it's kind of, in a sense, something that he's done before, but it's more, he wants to learn about medicine mm-hmm. in a different way, so he's enlists. And then right, literally, the day before he's going to go, that's when Ross turns up and he's brought Caroline with him. And it's and lovely. Said, and it's really oh it was so it's yeah. it's kind of one of those moments and it's played out exact same way in the book and you kind of go that is really cheesy but it's so sweet it's like, and he hears he tells him about how caroline's not getting catered well where's caroline she's right behind you <laughs> it was just like <laughs> but it was so sweet and it was. so cheesy and so it wonderful was. at the same time you know so so, so we're feeling good about the they're Ennis's. all right Francis Poldark. Oh my god, Francis just me. Just... It was his yeah. death was Right, first well, of all, first of all, I've got to say something. I didn't know Kyle Soller was American. How how how? Because I didn't. I did not know he was American until I saw him in an interview with BBC Breakfast. Yeah, and you said to me, like, you were, how is Kyle speaking Soller in this American? this broad American accent? And I'm like, no. <laughs> 
No, because this has happened to me before with Paul Dano. I know, how did you not know that Paul Dano was American? I didn't know who Paul Dano was until <laughs> War and Peace. But yeah, he's American, which makes his performance even more brilliant. <laughs> Because if anybody deserves an acting award from this cast, it's Kyle Soller, in my opinion. Mm. I think he was so, so good as as Francis, and he did Francis's journey of redemption, yeah, getting out of his when, depression. When he starts series two, he's seriously depressed. He, he is. He, very, he's suicidal. He's suicidal. He's, yeah. Um, and he's got a lot... A lot on his mind, yeah, and and he attempts he does, suicide. He does, but it doesn't he attempts work. suicide, and it doesn't work because he goes to shoot himself, yeah. and the gun is sparks, but it jams, yeah. and so he doesn't. His bullet doesn't um, enter him, and he takes that as a sign of it's, I've got a chance here. I've got more to do. I've got more to yeah. do. He does, but doesn't necessarily have a you know, a, you know, a religious moment of God. It's not really wants me to. Yeah, it's not a fifteen moment. It's just a I've got a chance here to do something, and um, and he has the thing of patching things up with Verity and um, with Ross after you know because they they're in a very kind of weird place at that moment in time. Um, yeah. tr- getting a sturdier relationship with his wife as best as he can. Breaking up with basically breaking up with George because George. <laughs> It's so got to see him so controlled, oh, and, he, and he's basically screw you. There I'm was a moment. This. There was a moment in the. <laughs> what are you laughing at? There was a moment in the second episode where I, he was talking to Dwight, and do you remember I messaged you, and I was like, "Is it wrong that I should <laughs> then?" <laughs> well, the two of them kind of formed a weird friendship in episode two because Dwight found they were Francis. sharing a room. Yeah, they? they were sharing a room, and of course. Um, and I was after after the suicide attempt went wrong. Obviously, he's still alive, and he opens the door to Dwight and everything. And um, they have this mm, this night where kind of like Dwight is afraid to fall asleep. Yes, yeah, he's, he's afraid to leave him in case he kills in case himself. He kills himself, in, and and in a sense, Francis is afraid to fall asleep in case he doesn't wake up again. In case some in 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 regards to what if I wake? Well, <laughs> you know. I find myself there again. Yeah. I don't want to be there again, so I have to stay awake this so night. They, they stay up talking to survive and stuff. To know that if I survive this night where I'm in this new place, I can be, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. I, you but know, so they it, have this night of... If, um, God help me, right? Talking. There was just this bit where Francis was polishing the gun on his lap and it, it was the way it was it oh, was filled. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was just and the way they were talking to each other, I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a brief a brief yeah. moment, but it, it made me laugh. Yeah. But um But after that Yeah, he, he gets then, so much better, doesn't he? He patches things up with Verity, yeah. He's he get he patches things up with Ross. He tells George to get lost. Um, and he says, "You're not, you're not my son's godfather anymore." Bye bye. Oh God, God funny that not true. Well, yes, but in in you know, yeah. And he sets up the mine, reopens the mine um, with Ross, and things are going all right. And then they're not. Mm-hmm. And then the mine starts having some trouble, but he's optimistic. He thinks he's found something, and then the rug gets pulled out under your feet. Yeah, and that moment uh, when he and was... wait, as he's he thinks he's found copper, and he's going along the wall. He's feeling along the wall because he can't because his candles not all that great. And then his foot slips on a wet bit of rock, and he goes flying into the water, and he can't swim. Mm. And there's a jagged nail on the wall um, and he manages to grab hold it and he's just clinging on to it to dear life. Now in the book it's slightly different because in the book um, he hangs on for four hours and the nail gives way mm-hmm. and he drowns. In the in the TV show he hangs on, hangs on, hangs on doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Um, and then he starts having these hallucinations which you can understand because yeah, he's been in very cold. very cold water for a long time and he's tired. And as he's well tired, from hanging, hanging on. on. Yeah. 
and he thinks he sees Ross coming to him and reaching for him. Cousin, take my hand. And he reaches out and oh, lets just, go of the nail. Yeah. And then he's drowned. He's dead. When but in the him. in the original TV series, it's, in all the told, 70s. Yeah, it's all told from Ross's point of view. So they literally just find him drowned. They right. don't know about, about that. Yeah. But there's the moment when he goes under the water. Yeah. Well, it's Does really made the really, decision to well, do no, no, that. No, 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 because it's really because of no, 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 because as I said, the nail gives way, and yeah. as you say, he's been cold. He's for hours, yeah. and the cold gets to him, uh, and everything at the same time. But in this series, yeah, he sees Ross and he reaches for him, and Ross just suddenly flips out, disappears, disappears yeah. in a split second, and then that's when you go, <gasps> and then he goes under. It's like it's like that. Realize it's not necessarily a breath. Oh my god, I'm going under. I know this is happening. It's kind of, he's gone. What I don't understand. But what was lovely and about that episode? Just what was lovely about that episode was Debbie Horsfield did the foreshadowing of the both of them as yeah, children, as the children beach. on the beach, and you and saw how you saw how Ross, Ross rescuing him. Yeah, yeah, which is which is told in the book, and how um, and that thing of you are told it earlier on in the series and i think it's series one it's referred to isn't it yes because um francis slips he gets angry he does, yeah and um, because um because he's trying to talk to him to elizabeth he's trying yeah. to talk to him about the engagement to elizabeth why won't you talk to me and ross gets screams at him and yeah. he slips and falls in the water and ross makes the choice to kind of stand there he does so he's, and, he, and so. you think for a second you're like, gonna let him drown you're gonna let him drown just yeah. like, and then he pulls his cousin out and he says why did you never learn to swim and, you yeah. know kind of, you know, angrily says it. Um, yeah, and then, you know, they carry on. Mm -hmm. And it's never referred to again that he doesn't know how to swim and, and such. And, um, yeah, and then we see Francis drown and it's like... Oh, but I think Francis. for Ross, I think for Ross that is the body blow. Yeah. That really is. It's like... He's been through so much. He's gone through the trial. He's gone through Julia's death. He's gone through all of this stuff. And then his cousin dies. And it's a man that Ross had grown to love, actually. Yeah. He had really and bonded becomes his business with him. Partner. Becomes his business um, Becomes a trusted friend. Oh, yeah. Because for a long time, he didn't trust Francis as no, far as he, he could throw him. He couldn't. And now Francis dies. And it's yeah. almost like the bottom falls out of his world. Oh, yeah. And yet again, and then that sets up the next big fuck-up in the long list of fuck-ups that is Ross <laughs> Hold Up. We're just going to swear every minute in this, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we want to talk about George? <clears throat> because because George will then lead to Elizabeth, which will lead to this, what we're going to talk about. I think that's, that's a really good way of okay. doing, going to speak. So let's talk about the... Epitome of evil that is George. George is um he, well. Let's just say, when the trial begins, he is set on having Ross go down. Um, he's made a pamphlet which is basically said how he has fathered illegitimate children and how he's married a kitchen wench and all this lot and basically ripping apart his character. And he goes, you know, in private, I'm printing these. And then he takes one to Elizabeth and Francis and goes, Oh my gosh, have you seen what is going around town? Slip it to, you know, it's just, just like, oh, for Christ's sake. He's horrible. And then he goes, and then he goes to Elizabeth, I might be able to know the find out the joke. Why don't we have a chat with Ross and Demelza? Invite them over to your house. And, we'll yeah. and it's like, what the hell are you doing? And Francis, he, t he turns up at the house when they turn up. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't know that they're going to be there. He doesn't know that George is there. Yeah, and he says, and he, um, you know, and Ross quickly says, "No, I won't be involved in this," and ends it. And he very quickly he says to George, "Will you go in the other room? Just go in the other room, thank you." And then as soon as he's alone, Elizabeth, "What the hell are you thinking?" Yeah. And gets really angry with her. But Elizabeth is so naive. She's she's so stupid. Stupid. She, she is stupid. So stupid. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? I don't I don't like railing women down, but in her case, she makes 
the dumbest decision. She is literally the female Ross without <laughs> the law breaking. She is. Because she's so fucking dumb. She's <laughs> like, I know, I'm going to I'm going to go and talk to my husband and his cousin's greatest enemy, who about, also is the one who brought him to trial in the first place, to try and save him, him from the trial. And I think that this is perfectly fine. Uh, yeah. But she's what? so she's so um self indulgent yeah. as well. She has no common sense. And I don't care. Demelza has no education. She has no social standing as yeah. far as her birth is, yeah. is concerned. And her yet charm. she What's herself it? has enough common sense to know not to trust George Warleggan. Yeah. I'm sorry, you Elizabeth I see a lot of people kind of defend Elizabeth and say, oh, you know, oh, she was brought up to be a lady and blah, blah, blah. Rubbish. A woman can have common sense who is not from yeah. stock who has been educated. Yeah. Elizabeth has very few instincts as far as George's character is concerned. Yeah. And once Frances dies, yeah. she she kind of whores herself out to George I would argue yeah yeah I, yeah, I can the money it's the money very, is yeah, the it's, it's it's not him it's the money it's the standing well, well but uh, when you say about the money key factor I yeah you understand that but also she sees it as the angle of the protection of her son straight off the bat she needs she needs to know that he'll be okay. So even though you say money straight yeah. I go get money from her selfishness, but yeah. money straight off in her mind goes to my son. Mm, Got yes. to protect my son. Yes, but I I but, think for her but, that only but, goes so far. But yes, yes, yeah. she 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 yeah, yeah, it, it is that. Um but then at the same time, it, it, yeah, I, I, I have to say, I can't help but say it again. It's the protection of my son is her angle, where she comes from, but the selfishness, you know. Yeah. But then after Francis, well, she's been flinging herself at Ross throughout the entire series, hasn't she? She has not made it unclear. And she did she that thing, is. and I mentioned it that in, our, in our video review of the first episode, and mm -hmm. I said, I don't know if it's if it's true or what, if it's just me overanalyzing something or whatever. But whenever she's around Ross, she wears her hair down, and she mm -hmm. does it throughout the series until until the big events, the big events, and then and then she's back to to having her hair all the way up. And yeah. ice queen. Well, by then she's under the the thumb of George. Isn't she, she is, and that's tragic. And George, actually, going back to George, going mm -hmm. back to George, because we didn't really speak much about George then, did we? Um, he is just bent on destroying Ross, however he can. Yeah, he is, and. When he finds, when Francis turns him away, he does whatever he can to get Elizabeth to like him and still have him accept him as godson. Uh, sorry, godfather to to, um, to her son. And then as soon as George is gone, it's like, right, she's mine. Mm -hmm. I am going to, if I can't get to Ross through law, I can get him another way. Yeah, and that's does. the only reason. Yep. Why he goes for Elizabeth? And I think he's flirted with her plenty of times in the past. But I but think he's he never, sees he's her never, as a trophy. Yeah, she's a trophy. He's, she, she is a trophy. He's yeah. never seen her as someone I love. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's someone I'd like to have on my arm. Yeah, and it would really anger us. Yeah, and that's yeah. why he does. And I think Elizabeth realizes that quite quickly. Yeah. But she's also the kind of woman who would rather die than admit that. Yeah. I really believe that. I think yeah. had yeah. Elizabeth had the path she goes down not happened, yeah. I think she would have lived in denial about her oh, marriage yeah. to George for the rest oh, of her life. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. And he, he would have ended up either jilting her or, you know, doing that constant thing of, bedding prostitutes here left right and yeah. centre she would know about it everyone would know about it I don't she's think insane to think about. I, I think you Elizabeth know. is is actually probably relatively inexperienced oh. with with sex I highly yeah, well, she I, very, I very I very much doubt Francis was a was a 
Well, I don't think they were very active in that no, area. No, and if you think back, wasn't there a sequence or something? In, I think it's was it the first series when, yeah, when he she was when he was sleep with him. No, 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 no. That was second series. No, mm. it's, uh, um, oh no, sorry, it might be in the end of this series. Yeah. No, but I was just saying when he's getting drunk and gambling and all that lot, where there's an incident with a with a prostitute. Oh slept, yeah, that had slept with Ross at the very beginning of the series. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. I was just trying to remember. It wasn't, it wasn't and really George visits her too. George yeah, oh yes, of course, George visits her. Yeah. Yes, so yeah, so um, yeah, but I don't, I don't, I think it's something that it, it's it's really it's really very difficult, for really, to read Elizabeth's character, which yes. is. Why Even, Winston Graham is such a great writer that you yeah. can have these completely differing opinions about her. On one level, she's actually a very good woman. Yeah. But then on another level, she, she's, she's not. Yeah. She's, she's really not. And that's yeah. her flaws yeah. are, are so real. Yeah. And they're, she's hollow. Yeah. That's the only way I think I can think Sorry, about Elizabeth. Like Hoodie off and quite hot. She's, Much too yeah, Sorry. she's hollow, and George knows that. Yeah, and he takes advantage of that. Yeah, and and things transpire. <laughs> and the quote on my top, actually, sorry, I'm just gonna. The quote on my top is actually, I think, very much relatable to Demelza. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. A Shakespeare one. Though she be but little, she is fierce. Yes. Yes, she, she is. Demelza. And Demelza is queen. Demelza is queen. She is the queen. Um, and with with Elizabeth. With queen her, D. With, <laughs> yeah, with George being, you know, and when he then decides to take Elizabeth, he kind of, after the trial, he realises he can't get to Ross through law. So there's no, um, in a sense, struggle with, police and everything and that's mm-hmm. between the two of them but when he takes on elizabeth he then becomes guardian of all of of um jeffrey charles's takes in the mines mm-hmm. he uh, yeah he uh, he he basically <clears throat> gets control of a promissory note of to do with mm-hmm. ross's debts um relating to jeffrey charles with him giving money and and everything yeah. So he is able to control that element. But Ross is a uh, saviour in the form of Caroline Penvenon. Yeah. And it was wonderful how they how they played that out in the scene when um, basically Ross has got to get the money to yeah. George by oh, a certain time on this day. That was so and good. And they're waiting for him. And Ross and Demelza come in and they're saying, would you like drinks? And they go, no, 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 we, we can't, we can't. <clears throat> and you think it's that thing, of, you know, because they believe, oh, yes, because you don't, you can't afford it. But they don't say that. They're like, oh, okay, that's, yeah, fine. And, um, and Ross saying, oh, I, I must apologise. And they go, oh, here's the kicker, he hasn't got the money. Huh? You know, he's going to go to jail. And I'm going to, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able, I'm not able to stay long enough, but I just have to give this to you in person and then we'll be in my and it's the entire it's the entire money, entire money yeah. which he he has got um from Caroline Pippen, but he doesn't know it's Caroline no, who's giving him the money until at the end of the series. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, and he's like, Well, sorry I can't stay longer. Have a nice day. Yeah. And the two and they just walk out. And, and it's do. just it's like great and Denelza says a line, I can't remember what what she says. Um, but it was just Perfect. perfect and it yeah and it was just like you can't touch me now no you've no. got you've got the wife the and trophy. you've got the trophy charles is jeffrey charles has got the money that you can't get to and yeah. what are you going to do to me now yeah well yeah 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 it's um it was yeah so so George is in a very odd place with with Ross, and they even had they had two punch ups, didn't they? they in the did. series, I wish that one of them they did, and they did as was done in the book in regards to what happens at the top of the staircase, and Ross throws him down the stairs. That would have been fun. And then he walks down the stairs and steps over him, and, walks out. <laughs> and it was like, I wish they had done that, but wish they had. But the it, thing that George has now done something very sinister to Elizabeth in regards to they're married now. But he took down um, Francis's portrait. Yeah. And now he's made... Unfortunately, Elizabeth hasn't seen the fact that, that her she's husband... She's in a prison. She's in a prison. She's her in a husband prison is a, a 
cold-blooded lizard who is entrapping her yeah. in her former husband's home. Yeah. And she has no way out. No. And it, it was so cleverly done how she did not see that he would not have Francis Poldark's child in their home. No. And Aunt Agatha, yeah. Aggie, Aggie, my queen, Aggie. the queen bee, love her. Aggie, she was, she was like, are um, you dumb? Are you like literally, ugh. Yeah, and like, why and she, didn't you yeah, see Elizabeth, that? Elizabeth was so upset when you said to send Geoffrey Charles to a boarding school. And, <laughs> um, and, and his justification about how he'll be making way for our, our true blood yeah. children. And it was just like, oh, you. Oh, but snake but um, but um the um yes the that's that thing. that leads us into a the the catastrophic event uh that happens in regards to right mm-hmm. so um ross has been giving after after francis died he's been giving as much money as he can even though he's very heavily in debt and they've had to sell all their possessions in order to pay the mortgage and all this lot <clears> because <throat> of george with the pomsero no but he's been <clears throat> donating money to elizabeth in the form of an anonymous um benefactor to jeffrey charles so to put that in other language he has been taking money away from, from his poverty-stricken wife and child who, to give who, it, are, who are having to hide stuff in the yeah, who are having to hide to, food to, in order to make sure that they've got stuff for the next month. Yeah. They've got to hide it for them so else they'll eat it. Yes. They, they have to do that in order to make sure they survive another month yeah. and he's been taking whatever money that they've got and giving Give it to, to Elizabeth, Elizabeth. who is living in Trenwith, who doesn't think to herself, I'll invite Ross and Demelza and Jeremy to live at Trenwith because I have fifty million rooms, yeah. most of which yes, are not. Jeremy's, Jeremy's been born by Jeremy's been born. Had, yeah. had another child during this, um, and he grew up. Like, series he, like three years flew by in like an episode. Yeah, but, but, the, book, <laughs> but the book spans like four yeah. years. So they yeah. have to they have to do that. It's the way it is. But um, so he's siphoning money from from his poverty stricken family. To give it to Elizabeth yeah. anonymously. Do you, and do you know what is really weird? How uh, before we get onto the event, yeah. how they're selling their possessions and everything. Yeah. And Melza says we can sell my necklace. It, it was a it's worth a hundred pounds, and he's a really angry about that. And he's yeah. like, no, we're not doing that. It was a present. It was a love present yeah. to you. Yeah. He's taking that, and and he's taking whatever that little yeah. money that they got yeah. and giving and it giving to it to Elizabeth. It's he's so proud. Yeah. He really is so so incredibly proud yeah. and headstrong, and so he's giving this money away to Elizabeth, and then all this stuff with George happens, and he can't stand it. No. He cannot stand the idea that Elizabeth is moving well on away she, from him. She, yeah, she gave him a certain. Uh, 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 she wrote a letter, but it never got to Ross, and in this letter, she basically gave him a. Uh, would say an ultimatum to basically come and get her or she'd have to deal with this certain situation herself and her her solution to that is to marry george and so she writes him another letter and says i'm engaged to george morlagan this is basically your fault um i want nothing to do with you anymore whatever feelings or she kept on telling him throughout the series how she regretted marrying francis and how they should have married and it was just like oh my god right. regardless girl. regardless um, of how you yeah. feel about the event and yeah, I, I will say i will say now yeah we're, we're not we're not going to give our no, opinion on it but whatever whatever you feel about that whether you believe that was consensual or, or not, not is entirely up to you yeah and so, I see the argument for yeah, both cases. But, to, but to, to finish to finish what I was just saying about yeah. how she's been throwing herself at him yeah, and she then has. she pulls it out of the way and goes, no, sorry, I don't like you, you know, leave yeah. me alone, don't go near me. So, yeah. of course, what does Rotten do? He is so angry, he goes straight to her house and it's, yeah. the middle of, it's at night and he doesn't come home until the next morning. The thing, the thing so is... Go back to, yeah, yeah, the thing is, is that... She is writing to a married man whose child 
died because his wife was tending her child and her and her and her husband, and her when, husband when, they were when they were ill. Yeah, and yeah, she the child contracted the same thing and died. He's married. Yeah, he's, he's married. He's had, no, he's had another her. child. They've had another child. She has been openly flirting with him and saying we should have gotten married and you know bringing up all of this past and trying yeah. to get them to get. And then she said, and then. By the way, I marry someone else. Leave me alone. Yeah, he's not to go. To, so it's kind of he's she's, she's playing she, games she, with him. Yeah, she can She kind of, in a sense, <clears throat> I think she knew that when she wrote that letter and sent it, he would be coming to see her. I think so too. Yeah. Whether you then feel that what happened afterwards was consensual or not, not is a matter of opinion, yeah. and your opinion is completely valid. Yeah. Now, yeah, we're not going to say how we feel about no. it. No, you know, but but the thing the thing is, is it's what happens after that with Ross. Yes. So I was like, "Are you having a laugh? (laughs) You have been giving this woman money. You go and see her. You then come back to your wife and say to her, you must see I had no choice.' Yeah. I'm. I'm. But but but. I think it's in that moment, it's the worst thing you could have possibly said. <laughs> and too rightly, she punched him across the face. And he, and he properly fell on the floor with, and he was with a shocked. Close fist. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was really taken aback by that. But I think in that moment, when <clears> he <throat> says, you must have seen, you know, that yeah. I had no choice. I think it's that thing that he meant in going round there and is in his kind of naive in regards to that she would, would, you know, think that they just went round and they just argued all night. Yeah. Where she's not that stupid. She's not dumb. She's not. She's not Elizabeth, and where I think, she's completely stupid. I think that's the problem, she, is yeah. that Ross, Ross doesn't understand. does not understand how smart his wife is. Yeah. And can we just give, like, the cast a moment of, like, yeah, yeah. well done. You all did spectacular, yeah. spectacular jobs. But Demelza's response is perfect because yeah. she freezes him. She doesn't cry and no. shout. She, she does shout a little bit, to be fair. Shouts, yeah, but, but that's because he says something again that he really shouldn't have. And it's just, oh, oh for Christ's sake. Ross, no, just, it's, like, God, it's like rubbing like, salt there's, in wounds. There's, the next day, he comes into their bedroom and she's there on the bed having breakfast with Jeremy. And she's like... <laughs> having a passive-aggressive cup of tea. It, yeah, wonderful. yeah. I live for it. And he's like, what are you doing? He's like, we're having breakfast. We may stay in bed all day. We may not want to do the chores today. What do you think, Jeremy? Should we stay yeah. in bed all day? Yeah. You know, and it was just like, and you'll hear why. Yeah. And, you, and she just stare, and they just stare at each other, and then it's yeah. like, it's like she says at the yeah. the end of the last episode before he does his big speech, which yeah. means that she not forgives him but doesn't treat him like crap anymore. Yeah. Um. And she says it's not about what you choose, it's about what I choose. Yeah. She's taking control back yeah. from Elizabeth, from Ross. Because they've both, to a greater or lesser degree, have seen Demelza as being below them. Mm. And you can't you can't deny that about Ross either. He no. as much as he loves Demelza, there is still a little bit of him that sees her as a kitchen maid, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, not now at the end of the series. I think once he says to Demelza she will never come between us again, he absolutely he means it. it. Yeah. I think when Demelza particularly when he tells she tells him about Hugh Bedrogan at the ball. Yeah. And he realizes she really could have, have gone off with him. Yeah. And he she was, didn't. And she didn't. She stayed. He realizes, I think, how badly he messed up. Yeah. Like really, he. I don't. I don't think he understood what he had done, yeah. which is insane. Yeah. But that's part of who he is. It's, yeah. It is part of his character. Yeah. Um, um, and I look. I kind of. Um, it's. It's really. It's really strange the the post event relationship and how it affects other people around them as well. Mm. Like Prudy. Becomes quite um, <laughs> quite interesting <laughs> Prudy, towards Ross. Prudy and that Joe, way. They do, they drag Ross at every available opportunity. Because that's right. Because yeah. he comes in and he says, "Where's Demelza? She's gone out. Where? 
I don't know. You're her Why? <laughs> Why? Because she can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't she... It's there the sequence. I think it is a series two that Demelita's away with uh, Verity's because she's going to be having yes. a baby. We'll yes. talk about Verity in a minute. Um, and um, Prudy's burnt the pie. It's just yeah. like, it's like I've got no food to eat. It's like they can't they can't cook. It's well, that's what happens when you're when your lovely wife who can cook very well yeah. goes away because you've completely screwed yeah. everything up, didn't you? And so, he he. He does, but I mean the the, the last mm. speech he gives when he yeah. says to Demelza, "I messed up." Yeah. Elizabeth was my first perfect love, yeah. but you are my real love. Yeah. She's his soulmate. Yeah. And he doesn't say I'm sorry. Yeah. But he does say. Yeah. That he is devoted to her and only yeah. her. And I love the fact that it's li- it's literally the last minute that it happens in. I mean, the because episode. The scene, the ep- because the scene before, that's just when he gives a speech. Yeah. She's packing her bag. She's going. And Jeremy, she's yeah. packed trunks. She's, going. she's She's leaving him. And it, it's raining outside. And, oh, God, it's beautiful cinematography because the, the front door's wide open and it's raining yeah. and all this stuff. And um, and it only just occurs to him that that's what she's doing. Yeah. He's just so blind to so much. Yeah. And I think this experience... And it's and it's, though it's so funny that the only place that she can go is her... Father's abu- house. Her father's house. He's horrible. In the past, he was abusive. He's still horrible to her, but he's a... Man of God now, he's isn't an he? So, he's an, yeah. Yeah. Um, but she finds that being there is better than being with Ross. Isn't and it's like awful? hearing that is like God. That's just yeah, yeah you know. And, that's pretty um, harsh for him to hear, isn't it? And I love, 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 love that the fact that the final shot is them on the edge of the cliff standing the exact way that they stood when um, they said goodbye to Julia at the yeah. end of the first series. But did you notice, like, they're stood on solid rock, they're yeah. together, they're not not happy, Yeah. and yet the storm clouds of war and the yeah. ships in the distance, the are, in there. The distance are there. But I mean, like, Ross was willing, he was going to leave himself, he was going to go back to the army. He was, yeah, he, and he, he thought, about, he going thought about going back, and I was, when he was doing that, I mean, I have seen the 70s series, but they handled it so differently. Yeah, the 70s series, he obviously wrote in a load of stuff that isn't even in the books. Yeah, yeah. So you know. But so he just got really annoyed that Demelza was treating him badly, despite the fact he didn't understand that what he had done was the reason why she yeah. was treating him that way. Yeah. And he was going to go back into the army, and she just kind of goes, well, if you're going to go, go. I don't care. Right. Like, why should I care? Yeah. Why should I care if a man who has been disloyal to me, then chooses to be disloyal again by going into the army and leaving me and his son behind. Yeah. Why should I give a shit? Yeah. Why should I care? Yeah. And he's he doesn't... He's like, but you're supposed to ask me to stay. I think that was part of it for him. I think that's what he wanted her to do. Right. And she refuses to, because right. why would she? Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> right, can we just talk about one last character? Mm. Verity. Verity had a baby. Verity had lovely. a baby, little baby boy. Even though they don't, yeah, even though they don't say that it's a boy or give his name in the series at all. <laughs> I love they the way they a little give, boy called Andrew. I love the way they give so. birth in the series. Oh, oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> It's no, to be, fair, to be fair, she had a labour pain and then they didn't do anything else. Whereas yeah. with Demelza, they kind of, you know, obviously. Yeah. With her Literally, the, fight, the five minute ride back, she had her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a bit different in the book. It's quite yeah. significant. No, 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 though, I know that. Isn't it? Um, know. But yeah, Verity's doing good. She met, it, yeah, because obviously her, she got married at the end of the first series. Um, her stepchildren, her stepson's really lovely. Her stepdaughter's an annoying little. <laughs> Cow. Cow. <laughs> but after after that initial meet, they she they do, she does grow to like Verity and she's there when Verity goes into labour mm-hmm. and such because Andrew's away, so he's not able to be there, so they um she's there and so is Demelza and Lil Jeremy. Um and uh yeah. 
so uh, yeah so she's good she's happy she was a great support to Demelza again she was throughout she turned up to, um, to pick her up for the trial at Bobman she... Demelza to her credit never told Verity what Ross had done did she? she no she said couldn't it. say it she no. couldn't say it no but I have to say but I think Verity gave us a wonderful speech she had an amazing moment and the it's heart on the book the heart wants. wants what it wants even though even uh, if that might hurt but, yeah mm -hmm. And it was a great moment, and uh, she, and it, she said it to Demelza when she was packing to go home. And when Demelza got home, she gave Judd Jeremy to drop me off near Trenwith, and she went and she spoke to Elizabeth. And it was that the scene. ultimate that scene was amazing. Ultimate scene between those two. Eleanor um, Eleanor Thomas oh, slayed that God. scene. Oh God, and Heidi, she did. Uh, she Heider. did. Heider, 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 sorry. Yeah, Heidi oh, Reed. Heider, Heider, sorry. I do mean, um, did an amazing job as well because yeah. Elizabeth comes out and she stands there and she's very straight backed and she's I like, I am the mistress of this house yes. kind of thing. Yeah. And Melissa's just stand there and she's like, look, look, you may like my husband, but he's my husband. Hmm. Back he's, off, bitch. She I, basically I, I don't. Need to wait. I don't think it's even that, is it? It's like you know what you want him, you have him. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. I don't, because I think Demelza kind of realises that the only true loyalty she has now is to herself and her son. Her son and yeah. that's it. Yeah. As long as Jeremy's taken care of. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. And um, <coughs> I think Elizabeth, um, Elizabeth's really, really quite taken aback by that. Mm-hmm. And Elizabeth does this thing after the big event. Yeah. Of waiting for Ross. Yeah. She, she waits, waits and, and waits. she waits and she waits and she wants him to offer her something. Yeah. Demelza never waits no. for Ross. No. I think she, I think that's why I respect her so much is that she accepts circumstances as they happen mm. and she chooses for herself and yeah. not doesn't wait for someone else to choose her as Elizabeth does. Yeah, and then going forward into the next series, um, Elizabeth has discovered that she's pregnant. And she has this moment, and it's in the book, and it's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Elizabeth, are you really that stupid? Seriously? Lizzie, it's we like, need to talk about biology, darling. Yes, she, she's got pregnant and she has absolutely no consideration or, you know, never even crossed her mind that it might be Ross's child. No. And it's only until Aunt Agatha says, well, what are you going to do if it arrives a month early? And she went, well, why would it arrive a month early? And she gave her a look. She just went, like this, Laura, she just went. Yeah, like. Really? And then that's like, when a thunderstorm was happening. Yeah. It's like, oh, look into the fire. Oh, my God. And then, like, the flames, flames were, like, flame, up here. Yeah, yeah. like, and, and it was just, like... It's like Aunt Aggie was going, I'm a, I'm an 83-year-old virgin, and I know how babies are <laughs> Yeah. Like, do you know I, what I mean? Well, and it was like, I was, I was <coughs> in this house when that happened. I heard everything. Yeah. Do you really think... I bet Aunt Liz, Agatha probably wrote down the date and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you she did. I bet you she did. She had a journal and wrote down the date. I bet so you. Now, so now Elizabeth is in a prison. Yeah. She can't get out of. Her it's son just... is being taken away from her. And yeah. now she's pregnant and she doesn't know if it's her husband's or not. Yeah. So, and Demelza and Ross are somewhat, somewhat... Okay. Okay. But, like, they they know she's pregnant, but it's almost like they don't talk about it. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. They, it's they throughout, just, throughout. Yeah. They it's just kind of... the end of the 12th book. Okay. They it's, don't talk about it, because yeah. it's, it's one thing for a man to sleep with a woman who is not his wife. Yeah. It's another for that woman to have his child. Yeah. Because that's almost even more of a betrayal, particularly when that couple have lost a baby. Yeah. I mean, they've had another one in, in the interim. Yeah. But, but pregnancy and children are particularly sensitive topics to demands, aren't they? Oh, yeah. You know. Very. So for him to betray her not just once but twice over yeah. 
it's it's not. too painful for her to deal yeah. with. And I think perhaps that is the limit of Demelza's endurance yeah. as far as that subject is concerned. Yeah. And I mean that this series has the most beautiful arc from beginning to middle to end. It's so I have fluid to, and yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And give it up to Winston Ray and give it up to Debbie for her amazing Debbie Horsfield did such of a good job. Can I please give it up to um cinematography, lighting, the um music music and Dudley's music. Yeah. Is beautiful. And then going into the cast for their, you know, amazing, amazing work. work. Amazing this, job. I said especially the, the bloody crew for doing those absolutely beautiful helicopter shots. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I feel I, I, if I was on the on the crew, and I, well, I, you know, being someone who admire it, I am desperate for various crew, not necessarily the actors to get, because even though they were absolutely amazing, and if they get awards for this, brilliant. Yeah. But there's so much emphasis on cast yeah. awards and yeah. not the crew and yeah. I really want the crew yeah. to get awards for this because mm -hmm. they did an absolutely phenomenal they job. They did, they did. I mean phenomenal. Um it's it's I mean it was again it was a huge hit, massive, massive hit. Yeah. So I think season three, well, season three. And it was, and it was nice because they'd already started shooting when series two was in like the second week of yeah. airing. So there was there was a preview to series three at the oh. end, which was so nice. And oh. it's not on the freaking DVD. It was epic. I literally it's, it's screamed. Not, it's not on the, it's on not, the DVD. Right. And Maybe, like, but then, but then because the DVD because, would have been printed a week yeah, before. before. Yeah, so they, they may not have had, had it. it. No, so but yeah, the series three preview looks good. It does. Exciting. But I, I, I assume that Ross keeps his promise that he never goes back to Elizabeth. He doesn't, does he? He's never unfaithful to Demar. Oh no, again. no, 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 never unfaithful. No, God, no. Um, no, this is going forward. You've got. Well, as far as I know, it's going to go up to the middle of episode... Oh, sorry, not episode. <laughs> book um, six, isn't it? Is that the Force Ones? Yeah, yeah, the middle of it. Yeah. And then the next series will be the rest of that book and book seven. Now, the reason why, because instead of doing the two book convention thing, is that between book seven, because of the, how it ends, there's a certain event. We won't say what it is or mm -hmm. anything, but there's a certain event. And then the next book jumps 10 years. Yeah. So it makes sense to do that jump between a series yeah. rather than in the middle of the series. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's why they're doing that. So it's kind of more to do with the war and going forward. It's going to be interesting to see how the they, and... they age yeah. the actors as well. Yeah. And I really do hope they age them because yeah. a lot of um, things when there is a time jump, mm. like, I'm not being funny, like the X-Men films, there's 10 yeah, years between but... each of them and they don't <laughs> age at all. In fact, in X Men okay. Apocalypse, Charles Xavier looks younger than he did in the sixties, <laughs> doesn't he? Okay, yeah. To be fair, yeah. but, so you know, <clears throat> but yeah, you it, don't, we'll, but we'll just have to see. It was amazing, yeah. amazing series, yeah. amazing character development, and it and was I because I, I got I got this DVD early. You did you got because it early Amazon before, very yeah. nicely, very nicely dispatched it on the Friday before the last episode aired. So I got it the following day. So I watched the finale three times before it actually aired. Yeah. So <laughs> and you messaged me. You were like, oh my god, it was amazing. It was yeah. so beautiful. It was, it was so beautiful. Um, um, and can I just say one little thing that we didn't we didn't mention. I love the fact that Julia is very present yes. throughout the throughout series. The yeah. Not just that reference to her at the very beginning in the first episode, because obviously it's only like a week or something since yeah. she died. Um, so that's it'd be very weird yeah. if Denelza didn't didn't refer to her. But she is felt through every and even like little things like Denelza's always picking fresh flowers and she puts a fresh flower on her bed. And things always. like when she's when she's singing to Jeremy. Jeremy. She's singing to Julia as yeah. well. It's beautiful. It's yeah. really, really... And, and Dudley, the composer, and Dudley, can I just ask, can you, like, make Eleanor Tomlinson sing at least three songs yeah. per series, please? Because yeah. I need that song that she's singing to Jeremy. It's and guess beautiful. what? It's not on the deluxe edition of the music again because well, next year they'll bring out another well, cd I don't, I don't know maybe in the next one i don't mm. know i don't know no i can't say I know. but anyway we're gonna round up because we've been like nearly an hour um but yeah 
It was absolutely it was amazing. Awesome. Really loved it. Well, well done, done, everyone. Especially the crew. Yes. But absolutely everything that they did. Cannot wait for Series 3. And um, I'm going to say this kind of, obviously, because I know what's going to happen in the books. Let's hope it's a less bumpy ride. <laughs> In, compa in, in <laughs> comparison, let's hope it's a less bumpy ride. I don't think it will be somehow. <laughs> all right then. All right then. All right. Thank I you. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye. Bye.